how people like to learn mm. is really important. Some are more visual based. Some have really great um, audio school where they can just um, remember it very well and then retell it in written or, or orally. Um, and some people like to write a whole lot and then highlight. I personally like um, highlighting <laughs> and I like mind maps a lot because um, that way you don't heavily rely on copying so much slab of information but choosing what you really want and then you branch out so that way you can add more to it as opposed to just um, he said, she said and, and so I'm going to just quote it. I think what's really important is to remember still to think for yourself um, regardless of how accredited or evidence-based the information is. It's already in print. We don't need it repeated over and over again. So try to try to look at it in a different lens or provide or offer something a little bit more when you come to write or answer it. Otherwise, we're just having a bank of almost the same thing, but in different font and size, I think. So don't be afraid to think. The purpose of reading at the postgraduate level is to inform your contribution to the discipline. Because when you're reading at an undergraduate level, again, you're, you're seeking to join that in one way, but once you start postgraduate study, a lot of times it's because you've already worked in that field mm. for a long time, mm. or you have a, an interest that you developed in that area over time, and you're setting yourself up to make a contribution at a different level in a different way. And the reading that you do is a fundamental part of that. Mm. And that I, I can't support that enough. You really do need to think for yourself as you read that information and think, how can this help me make the contribution I want to make? I guess as an academic, my hope, and Helen would know this, is around our students being creative practitioners, being, uh, yes, being creative and also being critical. So step one is to read, but to read broadly and widely a variety or a diversity of sources, not just journals or textbooks, even looking at audiovisual material, still being discerning about, um, about the reliability and validity of the sources, but looking broadly. And from that as well, not being afraid then to challenge, to reflect and challenge the, some of the content in ways that then they can articulate the learning from the readings onto paper. That's an exciting thing and a joy uh, as a staff member to read when students have been able to, to make that transition from that initial point of reading. And that's my joy to, to be able to support that and encourage students to do that.